guys, today is December 4th, 2019. I'm Kimberly Jolly from the Fat Quarter Shop and this is the Fat Quarter Shop Floss Tube and we are on week three of bringing home the tree. That is this Lori Holt pattern. It's so cute. It's right here, all stitched up. This is Lori's version. And again, this is an eight by 10 frame from Hobby Lobby and she just added some decor to the top. So super cute. And then all we have left after this week is the snowflakes and we have so many people stitching with us. So super excited about all the finishes. I'm gonna show you some pictures of ones in a bit. This is where I am. I wanted to show you the windows. Lily's gonna zoom in and show you. I decided to go ahead and do cross stitches with one strand. So mine look, my windows look a little bit different than Lori's. Lori's are a half stitch with two strands. So just showing you how you can do things slightly different. Most people wouldn't even be able to tell the difference. I just thought it was kind of cool. So I'm gonna put Lori's back. And then I'm gonna do some pop-ups and show you, um, first our winner is April Jackson. So this is April Jackson's progress. Um, she posted it in Kimberly Stitch Squad. I'm caught up and then some, this is the only tree I will be bringing home since we're moving. Love how this looks so far. Super cute. And then I'm gonna show you my progress and kind of my thought process on how I made mine. So what I wanted to show you is the first thing that I did, I was trying to save time. So first I did all the tree trunks at one time. And then I did all of my medium colors at one time. And then the next picture is all of the dark trees. And you'll see that that is the first image. Basically I fill in, I outline and then fill in. And then the next picture is when I have it all the way filled in. And so that's how I'm doing. If you look at my light, I went ahead and just did one of the lights over here, but basically I am just outlining and then I will fill in all the colors. So I will start stitching in a little bit. This is, I'm at 14 hours here. So um, that's how long it has taken me. So I'm just gonna stitch for a little bit and you can see kind of how I go um, with my stitches and what I'm trying to do when I stitch is to go as fast as I can um, and still be as neat as I can. So. I have my lights, my light trees left, and I kind of just have the tree memorized at this point because they're all the same. And so I'm doing my outline first. So I'm gonna outline all of the tree and then I'll fill in pull this out and I am using size 26 John James needles and this morning I put a brand new needle my other one was kind of getting icky so this is a brand new needle so basically I just go around outline with a half stitch So I hope all of you guys had a great Thanksgiving. I'm excited that Christmas is coming. I have the Christmas list of four kids and it is a big list. How was your Thanksgiving? Um, it was okay. <laughs> um, it's just hectic. I mean, it's just a lot, a lot of people. I would prefer if it would be a little bit less hectic. Mm -hmm. So now that I've got it outlined all the way, I'm just gonna go back and start finishing my X's and I'll turn it. And just finish my X's. I'll just go the other direction. All right, we got lots of people excited for Christmas, excited for the holidays. Doing a little weather report here. Uh, Cynthia Wilson said, uh, good morning from 
Fayetteville, uh, Georgia, where it's already up to 50 degrees. Fayetteville, right? Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce these things. Fayetteville, <laughs> my bad. Um, it's funny when I listen to like my true crime podcast and they talk about Texas and they don't know how to say the cities. Yeah, that's me. me up. Um, and then Kim West said, good morning from, I'm going to mess this one up, I'm sorry, uh, Cibolo, Texas? It's Cibolo. Si- Cibolo. Okay. It's a sunny 61 degrees. I think that's by um, San Antonio, right, Denise? Yeah. She said it was between San Antonio and Austin. Yeah. Uh, from Julie Washburn, 59 here in Orlando right now. Uh, Nancy Carter, a little chilly this morning in Florida, warming up nice. And Donna Regal said, good morning from dreary Michigan. And she put that little upside down smiley face. Yeah, the weather here is kind of weird. I think people are getting sick because it goes hot, cold, hot, cold, and then all the cedar has come in, and so um, the cedar's like in the air, and so a lot of people are getting sick here. Yeah, a few few people around us are getting sick. And from Lori Holtz, she said, hello, Fat Quarter Shop Floss Tube. I love your tree. It looks beautiful. Thank you, Lori. Thank you. Denise did the tree. Yep, we have all of our Jolly July ornaments on there. We just have a couple more to finish. We're going to finish them later this week, and then all of our Jolly July will be done. And we've seen so many people make it. I'm so excited. So many people finish their Jolly July and have it on their tree, so that's exciting. So yeah, this is how I stitch. It's hard for me to talk and (laughs) stitch at the same time. So I'm trying to think of something to say and not mess up at the same time. So yeah, I really like the simplicity of this because you can just do it without thinking. And I'm using the 14 count fabric flare What's the name of it, Denise? Uh, White Sparkle. White Sparkle. And so it has a little bit of glitter in it. And it really, um, it really hasn't come off. For me, it hasn't. And I decided I'm going to go ahead and buy the same frame that Lori did. She got it at Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to go ahead and buy mine there. I'll probably still get it framed at the framer because I don't trust myself to not to not mess it up and then when I get it back I'll probably try to copy what Lori did at the top and a bit more of a weather report here Robin Ale says good morning from sunny Indiana Debbie Ford said good morning from rainy Washington Uh, V Wallinson says lots of fog in Oregon Um, Donna Jakou good morning from Bell River Ontario Canada cloudy and a little chilly Um, And Kim Patterson said good morning from South Carolina, and she put a little palm tree, then a banana, and then a golden heart. Uh, I'm going to South Carolina this summer for dance. I don't even remember what city I'm going to. Oh, my gosh. And the Scottish Stitcher says, hi from Scotland. It's early evening here. Oh, my goodness. Thank you for joining us. That's awesome. My nephew is going there for... um, We didn't get to see him at Thanksgiving um, because he was at his dad's, but his mom was saying he's going there for like a college thing, like for a course, which is pretty awesome. So there is my, there are my trees. And so what I will do is just fill it. I'll just do the last, I only have two left. And once I get those outlined, I'll come back and fill them in. And then this weekend I'll probably work on all of my stars. So I think what we'll do now is we'll show some pictures real quick of different versions while I turn around, different versions of people's trees, bring you little tree pop-ups. Okay, so we've got Connie E. Dunn's. Uh, She said, I did some finishing today and got this beauty done. So happy with the way it turned out. Uh, And then she says what the pattern is. I love the blue car on that one. 
and then from Julie Washburn, all done. I frogged the back window so I could add puffs and I replaced random snowflakes with a metallic blue so in shine, it shines in the light. Those are cute doggies. There's two, two little black doggies. And from Java Girl Stitches, all cut up on the stitch along, bringing home the tree pattern by at B. Lori. Loving this. Yeah, and I wonder what she stitched on. I, I love that she stitched on brown because she's the only one that I've seen that stitched on brown. All right, and then from <gasps> that Mary Mac M Made Mine, uh, she said, week two, progress, bringing home the tree using Aurifil thread, Aurifloss. It looks really pretty. I love that blue at the bottom. And from Orange Zinnia 5, bringing home the tree by B. Lori, Fat Quarter Shop, uh, Stitch as called for. And she used the same frame as Lori, so that's awesome. And then back to the week thing. Yay! So I'm at 14 hours on mine, and then I'm going to show you Terry, who works in customer service. I'm going to have Denise call out the colors that she used. Um, or I can do it. Bandana. So she, so she used classic color works. First of all, she stitched on 32 count barn board check. She used bandana, milady's teal, balsam fur, la tierra, caterpillar, dessert mesquite, and then she used DMC 310 and 318. So hers is looking pretty awesome and pretty original. Um, so that's where she's at. So let me know if y'all have any questions on bringing home the tree before I move on to our next thing. Uh, Teresa McMath had been saying she wants to see the back. I have to show them to her. Sorry, what? Oh, you're good. Teresa McMath said she wants to see the back. Of what? Of You're your bringing home, bringing home the tree. Oh, yes, okay. before you walk away. Can I have that? Sorry. Ta-da. Ta-da. Yeah, you see right here, I got a little messy. Mm -hmm. I got a little messy right there. Okay, and then we did have a super chat from Debbie oh. Chips for $9.99 right before we started the live stream. She says, hello from cold and snowy WVA? Oh, West Virginia. Uh, West Virginia, thank you. Uh, thanks for warming the day with your live streams. And then she put the, uh, the little eyes at the hearts. Thank you. Hello, super piggy. Flying over our hashtag. Thank you so much. Okay. And I'm not seeing any questions at the moment. Okay, so yesterday we released uh, Lori Holt's brand new stitch cards. They're set C. So in every set you get four different cards. They're all 24 by 24. Um, we had her stitched up, but we mailed them back so she could finish them. Um, so we're going to show them when she finishes them. So I'm going to show you all four, and then I'm going to show you what I've been working on. So she stitched... She stitched on 25 count oatmeal Lagana on the non-modeled side. We're sold out, but we should have some soon. So the first one is hot chocolate. And all of these are based on her quilt blocks from her books. This is an ice skate. And each of the stitch cards has different, different frames each series, but within the series, they're the same frame. A snowman and a warm hat. And of course, they're on really nice glossy paper and they're in full color. So those are hers and I'm gonna show you my plan on mine. My plan is I got the 10 count blackboard vintage cloth. I used a 24 count or 24 pack Carson needle and this took me about five hours, which actually I thought was a really long time because I wanted to have this done this week, but it just took too long. And so my plan is to take Lori's medium frame and frame it. So I'm going to kind of, I'm going to do, sorry, it's really hard. Everything's backwards. So, <laughs> so there, so kind of like this where I have four, so I'm going to do one, two, three, four, and then I'm gonna center it in her frame and so that I will have one piece with all four. 
And then I am using the thread set DMC stitch card set C thread set, which we still have in stock. So I'm excited. And then I think what I will do is um, do some kind of decor at the top. Of course, I have no idea what decor, but um, that's kind of my plan. So um, that's just a great way for you to see that um, even though the pattern uses a brown fabric. You can use black, you can use white, you can use whatever. Um, I do wish, I, and I was able to stitch in hand, guys. I was super excited about that because I was able to stitch in hand. But again, four hours for this was quite a bit. So I'm hoping that I get faster. So y'all can like cross your fingers that I go faster. And um, this is of course her third set. She's gonna come out with them quarterly. And of course some will be themed some won't be they're going to all be different um but super excited about it and then she's going to finish hers and then um, i already know what she's going to finish them in but i don't want to say she's going to finish them ship them back and i will show them in a future live stream um, and i'm super excited about these and super excited about how it's coming out on black this was actually Lori's idea i always want to do something different so that you can always see two versions or you know give you some creative juice and I just had no idea what to do. She's like, just put it on black. She's like, you keep putting everything else in black, just put it on black. And I was like, okay, I'll put it on black. And then her 10 count showed up. And so it was perfect because I could get it to fit in her medium frame. So that's super exciting. Yeah. And if everyone could comment below what your favorite stitch card is of the Yes, bunch. that would be fun. Yay. Mine's the snowman, but let's, I haven't done the snowman yet. Let's see if there's like a clear Consistent. winning favorite. Yeah. Okay, and then we have a question from Greta Carter. Which floss pack for the new Stitch Cards? It's called Stitch Card C. Mm -hmm. And we're in stock, right? Mm -hmm. So the DMC is in stock right now. And on her Stitch Cards, she just lists DMC. She wants it to be super simple. So on the Stitch Cards, um, they're small, not a lot of room. So she just lists DMC. And we did have a question earlier from Cindy Stevenson. She says, good morning. In the package, Ada, there are creases in the fabric and I'm finding it hard to press them out. What do you do to get the creases out? Um, I will crease, I will start, I will starch it, which is kind of weird because it might shrink it, um, but I do starch it a little bit. Um, or I'll get the crease out a little bit and then when I start stitching, it's gonna even, it's gonna kind of loosen up and then I'll iron it again at the end. I'm seeing a lot of snowmen. Snowman. A lot of hot chocolate, a little bit of ice skating. Mostly oh snowman and hot chocolate. Emma went ice skating last week what? when I was at work. Um, one of her friend's sisters does, okay, so Kevin used to play ice hockey when he was a kid and he was like a state champ, I'm not kidding. He what? was like really, yeah, when he lived in Illinois. And so this little girl is in Will's class. It's all complicated, all my kids, friends, you know, I have so many kids and they all have, so this little girl, she's 10. She plays ice hockey and she's like aggressive about it. So um, the mom was telling me, and so the, the mom took them all ice skating and there's a video of Emma. Uh, it's like, she's like not even moving. It's so funny. And then I met the dad today. The mom was like, oh, this is Emma's dad, Emma's mom. And I was like, oh, hi, the, you were helping her ice skate. I mean, she is so funny. She's like this, she's like a robot. Oh, <laughs> It's cute, but I don't even know where the ice skating rink is because I was telling Kevin about it. And when we got the pictures, there's all these kind of awards and all these things. And so Kevin's like, oh, I gotta figure out where this is. So that's, yeah, she went ice skating, which that's I wish cool. I was there, but I was working. I think there's one at the Whole Foods downtown, but it probably wasn't that one. Yeah, she said it was like really far. And she said it was like a part of town that she hadn't been to. Oh. So I don't have any idea. So awesome, so we're doing Christmas alphabet, but I'm gonna start with pop-ups because what you're about to see is gonna blow your mind because I about freaked out last night. So, first of all, this is Lori's. Hers is so cute, that pack, I can't even. I love the colors she's using. So um, we are going to list all of her colors on the blog so that you guys can have them. And it's I'm gonna use those colors and something else because that is so cute and so amazing. And she is stitching that on um, just some cloth from her stash. And oh my gosh, that green is so cute. So that's Lori's. And then, oh my gosh, look oh. at that. That is Priscilla's. So at the bottom, you can see she spelled out Christmas. And um, each of the letters is individually mounted on sticky board. And then she put uh, fabric behind it. 
Okay, those little houses are from Target, a dollar section. Ooh. Yeah, and then she just brought it home and she already, okay, hello, already had a piece of board that fit it. Of course, she put some black gingham fabric on that board and on her blog today, she's gonna have full details on how you can do this. Mm. It's cute, right? It's adorable. Oh my gosh, I about died. And then this is like more up close. And so it makes me want to go to Target and try to find those little houses. Mm. Yes, it's so cute. And then Chelsea's is next. And so um, the funny thing with Chelsea and her mom is her mom's always like, did you give me enough room to cut that out? And you can see some of them have a lot of room and some of them don't. So it's kind of funny. I think she does it on purpose to irritate her mother. That's hilarious. Yes. So this is the pattern, Prairie Schooler Christmas Alphabet. It was originally published in 1997. So. Oh. Yes. How old were you, Lily? Were you even I, born? I was three. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> They're so young. Okay, so this is my version. I am stitching on 16 count chalkboard black by Wichell, and I'm going opposite. Don't ask me why. I don't know why I did that, because it's kind of been a pain. And so I got a row done. And the way that I have been doing it is I've been outlining all of the, I do a whole row. So I'll outline all of the row and then I'll do all the letters and then I'll fill in each color. So do all the colors at the same time. So that's what I got done this week. I'm hoping um, to have a lot. I'm obviously gonna have this done by Christmas. So I am at about, let's see, 40 hours and I'm 55% done. So um, I want it to be a little bit further, but I really like my colors. I'll say I'm really proud of my colors. So that's mine. And then this is Cheryl. So I turned the pattern vertical. vertical. It's written for horizontal. Ooh. And this is Cheryl's. So Cheryl's using the called for colors and then I can't remember what she's using. Dark beige. Historic beige. Historic beige. Linen. But oh wait, 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 wait. Sorry, the other way. There you go. So this is uh Cheryl's. Look at the little jack. It's so cute. So I'm so excited that we did the Christmas alphabet. It has been so much fun to see. Like you can see that like Lori's, mine, Priscilla's, Cheryl's, everybody's is so different. Chelsea's, everybody's is so different. And it all starts with one simple pattern and just adding your creativity to it to see what you can do. So I'm so excited. I mean, and I already have an idea for something I want to do next year. So I'm Ooh. excited about that. So let me know if you have questions on, um, Christmas alphabet. Um, we're gonna have more DMC thread packs for my colors um, today or tomorrow. And um, Lori's we're gonna list on the blog. Okay. We have lots of people saying they love everything that everyone's done with their Christmas alphabet. Thank you. Lots I hope y'all are sewing it too, or stitching it. Yes, comment below if you're stitching along with us. Yes, it's the, the they're like 26 by 26, like 26 squares by 26. And so they're tiny and um, they're a lot of fun though because they're pretty easy. Uh, we have a question from Greta Carter. Uh, when will 25 count oatmeal come in? Soon. Um, it should be, uh, they're quoting December. So we're already out December 4th. So um, I know it has not hit the United States yet, but it sh they're quoting December. If not, it should be January. Okay. And then she was also asking, are you going to have other colors in 25 count yes. like you do in the 10 count? Yes. Thanks. And it would probably be later next year, but yes. Right, Lori we've... is working on it. And we do have some like 25 count gray right now called pewter. Um, I use that on my charity piece, um, but Lori will be having her own colors cool. soon. And we have quite a few people stitching, some saying that they need to start there soon. Yeah, it's easy to catch up. Um, I think by doing three at a time, it kind of, like, I'll give myself a goal. Okay, I got to do these three, and I can do it in about maybe, maybe six hours, maybe. Um, but I'll just say, okay, this weekend I got to get three done. So it kind of makes me go a little bit faster. So I wanted to give you guys an update on Snow Village by Little House Needleworks. So, or Country Cottage Needleworks, sorry about that. It is a series that I believe is 11 parts. This is the first part. And you can either stitch these individually or in one piece, which I'm gonna be showing you. So if you were in the club, you got this first. This is second, this is sleds. 
I can't see. I'm blind. It's so funny. I'm so blind. I'm not even kidding. This is a snowflake, snowflake stand. So um, on the Country Cottage Needleworks website, if you go to her website, she will show you how to place it if you're doing it in one piece. So this is mine. And over here is part two. So I have part one done. This is part two. And I am stitching on this really small count. 18 count? Oh yeah, 18 count Ada. This took me seven hours, just this little part. So I'm going super slow. Um, I did accidentally stitch the green leaves at the bottom brown. I don't know what I was thinking. I had to pull all that out. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I'm going really slow. So I'm hoping to get, um, I think part one goes here, part two goes up here. No, sorry, part one, part two, and then part three, and then part four should be coming soon. So that is my part. And then I have shown Cheryl's piece, her centerpiece in a previous, and these are her part two and part three. And she is using the called for floss and the called for fabric. And she's using the linen. And so I'm not sure how she's gonna finish these, but we will show how she finishes them. So that's what I have for, let's see, part three, if you are a club member, shipped on November 26th. So part four should be coming soon. Um, I'm hoping to get caught up. Oh, and then she put a little, little crystal thing right there. Oh no, it's just glitter. So cute. So that is Cheryl's. So let me know if you'll have any questions on Snow Village. Um, I can't believe I'm going so slow. I was like, I felt like I was like building that house like forever and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm getting nowhere. And I think it's just the small stitch count. I can, um, I can't really do the stitch in, I can do the stitch in hand, but like the sewing method where you like go through two at a time, I can't do that because I just can't see. I mean, I can barely see anything. I'm so blind. I should just um, get my eyes fixed, but I really just am having a hard time seeing and I pull out a lot because it's the wrong hole or whatever. Um, so I think if I was stitching on something bigger, I could definitely go faster. Okay, so we don't have questions about Snow Village, but we have other questions. Okay. Um, Free Spirit was asking, where did you get the tape measure ribbon on the ornaments on the Christmas tree? So the fabric ones. Okay, so we sell it. And we're going to have a video next week showing you how you do this. Yes, yes, on the quilting channel. Yes, on our quilting channel. This is Cody Mangrum's idea. It's so cute. We sell this. It's twill tape. We can link it below. I it's a it comes in like a yard, uh, twenty five yards. Yeah, it's this huge. And tool. everything, um, all the supplies to make this, except for the fabric and the twill tape, come from the dollar store. Super cute, super easy. Yeah, super fast. Yes, super super fast. Okay. And Gabriel Fuentes was asking, do you stitch one over one on eighteen count? No, I do. Yes. Well, it's Ada. So yeah, just one square. Because it's Ada. So I don't ever do linen. I do the Lugano, which is over to the 25 count, but i um, only done that a little bit. Okay. And from Judy Kepler, uh, is the Bloomtopia charity piece going to be a stitch along? Do I wait until February to sign up slash make a donation? Sure. You can donate now or you can donate next year, whichever. Um, but it will be a stitch along um, and it will start February 1st. And is it here? I'll show it to you if y'all want to see. It's um, super cute. Um, Priscilla finished it for me. So I stitched on 25, thank you, it's 25 count Lugana. And Priscilla Blaine of Stitching with the Housewives finished it for me. And so this is going to be a free pattern that releases between February and June of 2020. And we will be raising money for Make-A-Wish during that time. And we have little bags that go along with it. Like these are our little Bloomtopia bags. I've been holding, I've been using this for a lot of um, my stuff. And then this is a little magnet. It can also, your needles can go on it. And then we have a needle minder and they're just little companions, but I've been using these bags a lot. Okay, and then Robin Henrich says, do you start your fabric before stitching? Your fabric looks so nice. Do I what? Start your fabric. Okay, so I like do a general, 
Okay, quilting fabric, yes, I starch. Ada, I just kind of run the iron over it, and if there's like a major crease, I will put starch on it, let the starch dry, and then go over it. Um, but what I do, can I see the bringing home the tree? The one thing that I do when I um, put everything in my bag is this, and this came straight out of my bag, so I'll show you what I do. The way that I keep it straight is everything is rolled. So I, when I'm done, I roll my piece. I usually leave my needle minder, that's Piggy, my dog, and my needle at the end, and I just roll it, and then I put a little wonder clip from Clover at the top, and then I just pop this. This is actually the bag that I use. I just pop it in here, and that's how I keep it uh, unwrinkled is by rolling it and putting it in the bag. So, okay, so now we have whips. We have a ton of stuff. So the first one is Denise. She is making the brand new Holly Jolly Farm. I believe the pattern sold out. This is Priscilla Blaine's new pattern with hands-on design. We should have more today or tomorrow. And she's making this little bottom piece. Ooh. And she's using fabric from her stash, leftover fabric from the club chalk bowl. So she started, yay! So I was like, is it gonna fit? And it is, she's gonna put Mary right there. So that's one whip. I got so much done, y'all, after this. Y'all are gonna just die at how much I got done. I can't even, I'm so proud of myself. This is brand new, Shannon Christine. I'll kind of show you, she has some new patterns. On the back, There's these are all five different patterns, five or six different patterns, and you can either stitch them as one big one or individually. And so Cheryl made the first one. So cute. So that's one colorway. And then, Denise is doing Let It Snow. And so you can see the difference in the fabric choices. But it's really, really, really popular. Shannon Christine, her stuff is very, very, very popular. Okay, so on Jingle Bells, Cheryl stitched from her stash, but she says the similar is 32 count Venetian stone. For Denise, she stitched on 28 count Lugana mushroom. For finishes, ta-da, I finished. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. So this is the Away We Go by Little House Needleworks. Country Cottage, Country Cottage Needleworks, I'm so sorry guys. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom in real quick because I made a little change. Okay, so for the, the reindeer eyes, I could not get a French knot. So I did a straight stitch with one strand and then I could not get the French knots on the Santa. So I did a straight stitch with two strands and those eyes look nutty. So I have, I've already changed them three times. <laughs> I'm probably gonna undo it, but I just, the French knots is just not my thing. This took me 30 hours and the patterns sold out. We should have more tomorrow. So that is my big finish for this week, but I am really excited about it. I really um, like it. I don't know. If I'm going to do a white frame, I'm not really sure how I'm going to frame it um, or finish it for that matter. I have no idea. And then Cheryl has been working on Christmas Calendar by Tiny Modernist. And she has 20 and 19 done. And this is how she's finishing it. So the, um, the green fabric is on there permanently and then you switch out the dates, so I'll show you. So this is how she has it. She has a magnet there, a washer there, and then you just put it back. Now, these are, this little guy is from Walmart. And they're so cute. And so she's doing it without the frame. So that are, those are some whips, finishes. And then now I have some really big finishes. Ooh. 
So this is Mary Chockville by Priscilla Blaine. She finished it for me, I'm so lucky. So this is a frame, just a regular picture frame from Hobby Lobby. And um, she, this was glass, so she just did a sticky board and did a gingham fabric on it and then put this here and then added all this. And then this is a brown, it was like, um, so she painted it with Lori's chalk paint. Ooh. Yay, I'm so excited. So I can stick it home today. Yay. I know, I'm so excited. Thank you, Priscilla. I'm so excited. Okay, another finish. This is my Pumpkin Spice Farm by Hands on Design. And I got it framed. Ooh. And got it picked up, yay. So I'm excited that I got that one done or back from the framer. My framer takes about four to five weeks. And then this is Country Cottage Needleworks, November. So I got it done just in time to have it up for three days in November. Ooh. But the little turkey's so cute. Oh. I like the little turkey. So that's another finish. And then, okay, first, this one, I'm gonna do a pop-up first okay. before. Okay. So I had to go to the DM what is it called DMV DMV yeah yeah I had to go and I was there one hour and 50 minutes and this is what I got done in one hour and 50 minutes oh. so that's me at the DMV of course in the very back row trying to hide from everybody <laughs> and I finished him at oh. night it's so cute right that's adorable so I had bought these anytime I'm at home goods even before I started cross stitching if I see a small frame this was $3.99 at home goods it's um, just a plain frame, um, and I had it at home already, so I just basically uh, put this on black batting, and I didn't, um, I just kind of placed it in there, and I left the glass off. But he's so cute! So I'm excited because I can take him home too. Yay. And this is, um, the pattern is Trellis and Thyme Ho Ho Ho. We're sold out, but we will have more. No, we're not sold out on that one, sorry. And then, okay, trellis in time. This is also trellis in time pattern called trick or treat. And Priscilla finished it for me. Oh, it looks so good, right? It does. So I don't know um, the detail. I'm sure she'll put it on her blog, the detail on how she finished it. Obviously she's got candy canes coming out candy and a corn. bow and looked a little kitty. She it's, put a little it's kitty. Candy corn. What'd you say, Lily? I, Cause you said candy canes. So I was like, oh, it's candy corn. Oh, what'd I say? Candy cane. Oh my gosh. Comment this, below if you like candy corn. Yeah, and then this is uh, from Hobby Lobby, a frame from Hobby Lobby. So I don't know if she painted it, but it is cute. And so I can save it for next year. So I'm super excited about that. And then I wanted, those are all my finishes. And for new stuff, Country Cottage Needleworks just came out with fresh cut Christmas tree pattern. And it's got a lot of text on it. And it's got like the name of uh, trees and it's really cute. And she has it stitched on Belfast linen 32 count so I just wanted to show you are we doing kits on that we're yeah we're doing kits so it might be next week and then I'm going to do some shout outs pop-ups little um stuff you guys have been working on because I love seeing all the stuff So this is the Hobby Holic. That's a cute name. The Santa's Village is on its way, starting with Santa's House by Country Cottage Needleworks. I use the called for colors, and that's cute. And then this is Tis the Season. Who is this pattern by? Tiny Modernist. Tiny Modernist. Mm -hmm. Super cute. And I think that pattern comes with more than one pattern. It's a four-piecer. Oh, it's so cute. He's so happy. It is, and I like the little that little ribbon. Yeah. I don't know if she like curled it or what, but it's cute. Oh, and then this is Hello December by Hands On Design. I've actually made all of these, and they're sitting in a um, they're sitting in like a little plastic bin. Maybe I'll send them to somebody to finish. This is my first Christmas finish. I can't. Oh, Mateo's Lady. Yes. My first Christmas finish. It's Quaker Tree by the Stitcherhood. And then Kim Crazy is Country Cottage Needleworks Christmas Cookies. Oh, Super so cute. And then this is Merry Christmas. Um, it's the same lady, Mateo's lady from Mansfield, Texas. And uh, that pattern, I can't think of who it is by, but it is either Country Cottage or Little House. 
There you go. Yeah, back to the and then um, I wanted to let you guys know that um, I'm not gonna have a floss tube next week because I'm having a very minor surgery on Monday, but I will probably be out all week. So I'm not gonna have a, I'm not gonna have a floss tube next week, but it's very minor. Um, but I just won't be at work. I can't drive. All the all that jazz. Um, and I would love for you to subscribe to our channel. And now I'm going to show you some cute pictures. So the reason that I started late this morning is my um, my twins are 10 years old and they're in fourth grade and they were in a little play. So I took some pictures. So uh, if you can see the little boy with the real sh uh, on the right side with the real shiny face with the red hair, that is Peyton. And behind him to behind his right shoulder is Will, the one that looks really shy. Oh. And somehow they were in the same section of the play, which was super awesome. And I'll show you some pictures of me with them. So that's Peyton. And then there's Peyton and Will. Will was not one to take a picture. Hmm. So those are my pictures of my cute little kids. Um, the, the play was, um, I was thought of Lily the whole time. Oh. It was, <laughs> um, it was called, um, it was based on Christmas movies. So I didn't know any of it, <laughs> but it was like SpongeBob, um, SpongeBob. SpongeBob. Well, I don't. I think they just put SpongeBob, oh, but they okay. sang SpongeBob, and then they had like Shrek. I don't even know some of them. I didn't even know. That's I was great. just like, I don't get. And it was very like theater, and they were like, do. It was funny because they were really doing it, and I was so excited that they. Because one of my kids is super shy, like. I was surprised he even like did the stuff. I was like, oh look, he's actually doing it. I'm so excited. That's great. Did they talk about Krabby Patties at all? In the no. SpongeBob portion? That's <laughs> no, hilarious. but I, yeah, but I will say I was sitting there, I was like, oh, maybe I should watch some movies so I have a clue. <laughs> I really didn't know um, any of the songs or like any of it, like at all. And I'm really bad, I don't, but I thought, well, if Lily was here, she can interpret. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't even know, like, some of the songs when they sang them, I don't know what movie it came from, so, but it's one of those things where my kids always, before they have a performance, they always say, oh, we can't tell you, because uh. I think they don't want the parents to show up and know, mm -hmm. and so Christopher saw it yesterday, because Christopher's in a younger grade, and so they got to see it, but they're like, oh, we can't tell you, so then I show up, and I'm, like, completely clueless, because oh. I don't watch movies, um, but it, they were so cute, it was fun to, like, watch them and then Emma actually got to come so oh, that was cute that's awesome. and then she like hey should have run the school her school starts an hour and 10 minutes after theirs so then she had to like get to her school okay um we have some questions one from Gigi Odom saying do you find the 10 count blackboard as easy to see as the lighter colors yes I really don't have any issues with black um I have issues with size counts so anything 16 or 18 count I struggle and so Christmas Alphabet is 16 count, um, Snow Village is 18 count. I just, my eyesight is just not, um, it's the whole size. And from Melanie Barrett, when you roll it, does it get flattened? No. No, because it just stays rolled. And like this, this bag is pretty, um, it doesn't like bend, you know what I mean? Like it stays, if you set it up. It would say set up so it doesn't like crease or anything but i do all of my pieces no matter what piece it is i will put it in a bag that is wide enough so that i can roll it and i just always keep it rolled and then to me that keeps the creases out um unless it's a small piece that is just like if it's big enough to just fit flat i'll just put it flat i just don't like to crease it and from oh, Terry Lane, earlier I said someone put a banana emoji. They're like, I think that's a moon lily. A moon. See, it her eyesight, like look. Her eyesight's going to go just as... I hit 45, and let me tell you, everything's downhill. It's all the staring at the screen. It is, yes. Okay. And from Tammy Zoll, she says, What is the finished size of the cross stitch on the rocking horse? Can I have a ruler? <laughs> We're, we have plenty of rulers in here, so we'll measure. I'll measure both the fabric piece and the little, um, the linen piece. Oh my gosh, Cheryl, her stitching is like so perfect. So, the green piece is exactly three inches, and she did use sticky board with no batting, so that's three inches. 
and the fabric piece is exactly two and a half inches. And I don't think she used batting there either. No, she probably did use, I think she did use batting on that. So she, and that's a good way to do your piece where it's the exact same so that you can just write it down. Um, I would write it down in my little journal because I cannot remember anything. Like, I would probably write it down in here and then that way, especially if you put something away and then you gotta pick it back up. But it's so cute. I saw so many people post on um, Facebook and Instagram, like running to Walmart to get it. Yeah. It's so cute. I saw some people in the comments saying they didn't find the reindeer, but they found a bear. Yeah. So they bought the yeah, bear yeah, instead. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what the bear I, like. I haven't been in a Walmart in so many years that I don't even know. <laughs> um, I think it might have been when I was at Lori's house because at Lori's house, I know where Walmart is. Like if I need to go get a ladder or something. Um, but yeah. And can you remind us what the name of the pattern was that's on the reindeer? Christmas calendar. A Tiny Modernist also has another pattern similar called Christmas Advent. So Christmas Advent was like a couple years old and Christmas Calendar is her new one. And then she has a Halloween calendar and Cheryl did the same concept. And what she does is she counts down. So like today would be 23 days. Like she would change it each day. And then question from Rebecca Scheller. Have you ever thought about stitching one of the reproduction samplers that have become so popular? No. They don't fit my house. Um, I think they're beautiful though. And I love like the history behind them, but they don't fit my house. Um, and honestly, I don't think I could ever finish one. And they're so big that you would have to put it on tiny cloth. And really one of my goals, I think for 2020, because I always do have a lot of goals is I need to stop trying to stitch on the small stuff and just do what I can do. I, I just need to stitch on 14 count Ada. And if it is gonna be a huge thing that goes on the wall, it's just gonna have to be a huge thing because I can't see. I gotta just try, I, I'm like, I challenged myself. Oh, you can do it, and I can. But is it really worth it? Can we just go back to 14 count? That's my goal oh. for 2020. It's just, it's, it just strains my eyes. Mm -hmm. And I have been using my Halo Go lamp, which is right here. It folds up, so then you just pop it out, and it goes everywhere I go, it Ooh. sits in my car, and I have been using this because I, could, I couldn't do those without. I couldn't do the small count without a lamp or something. All right, from Cindy Stevenson, does FQS plan on having any thread clubs with gentle arts and or weeks in 2020? Um, not yet. We can look into it. It's really hard to get delivery on uh, the hand dyed stuff because it has to be hand dyed, um, but we can like, I think we're gonna stick with floss fix for now but maybe like in March or April we can look into that all right and we've got lots of people uh, wishing you well sending hugs saying prayers oh, for your surgery next thanks. week. thanks it should be totally minor it's just um, just one of those things that I hit 45 and oh my goodness like everything's falling apart so guys um, have a great week and I will see you guys in two weeks and I will be if you are a quilter and you are a fan of Sherry and Chelsea, they will be with me this Friday on this Friday's live stream. Mm -hmm. So that will be super exciting if you wanna see some beautiful quilts. Um, and even if you're not a quilter, but you just wanna see some really beautiful stuff, you can join me on that channel, which is our quilting channel. And again, we would love for you to subscribe to our channel and tell your friends about us so we can hit 10,000 subscribers before the end of the year. Mm -hmm. um, and so thanks for watching. Bye guys.